right? Burning glory of her. I know, I know. But if you guys can remember, when we're dealing with the parent graph of this equation, the parent graph of sine completes one period at 2 pi, right? It has its x-intercept at pi, its minimum point at 3 pi over 2, and its maximum point at pi over 2, right? All right, now, that is when your period and your amplitude has been unchanged, right? It goes as high as 1 and as low as negative 1. Now, if you look at this graph, did I change anything with the amplitude? No, right? There's no number that's in front of one that's changing amplitude. So my amplitude is still going to be 1. Did I put a number in front of x for my b? So therefore, my period is still going to be 2 pi, right? However, is there a number outside that's going to shift it up or down? Uh, no. No. So I'm not going to be shifting my graph up or down. No. The only thing that's going to happen is I'm going to shift left or right. Okay? So there's one thing I want you guys to understand. In this first period of, a, of the sine graph, remember this keeps on going infinitely left and right, but the endpoints of one period is 0 and 2 pi. Right? Yeah. The endpoints of this period are 0 and 2 pi. Those are the, those are the x um, x endpoints. So what you can do whenever you're given a horizontal translation, you want to take whatever's inside your function, so x minus pi is equal to 0, and then do x minus pi is equal to 2 pi. Okay. You listen to this. I know, but you need to watch this. Just sit right there and watch. You have x minus pi is equal to 0, and x minus pi is equal to 2 pi. Um, yes, okay. So does everybody see how you set whatever is equal in your function equal to your two endpoints? Then all we're going to do is now solve for your x. So what this now tells us is these are now your new endpoints, all right? So now, rather than my graph starting at 0, it's going to start at pi. So I'll use a different color, and I probably need to expand this graph. So then, what it's saying is, instead of my endpoint being at 0, I want my endpoint now to be at pi, okay? And then instead of its endpoint at 2 pi, now the endpoint's going to be at 3. So now I'm still going to graph the exact same graph. But it's going to go up, it's going to go down, cross, minimum, intersect, maximum. Then, like I said, it says two periods, right? So you can continue, still going in the left. Okay. But do you guys see what happened with this whole graph? The green is your final result. The red is what your paragraph looks like. But what I did was I shifted the whole graph, I shifted this whole graph pi units to the right. How did you know it was pi units to the right? Well, obviously you guys see it up there. It says you know x minus pi. That means pi units to the right. Looking at your phone is not going to tell you that. However, to find what your endpoints are for each one, just set whatever's in your function equal to 0 and equal to pi. I'm sorry, equal to 2 pi. Then you can solve and you'll find out your two new endpoints. Okay? And that's when you graph when you have a horizontal translation. Yes? So sine, the end will always be 2 pi? No. Yep. Okay. Unless, unless you have a horizontal translation. Okay. But yes, the, the parent graph for sine has a horizontal or a period of 2 pi. Okay. 